Hey everybody, Maction here, and a little while ago I did a review of the Mad Cats Mojo Android console. And during that review, if you haven't seen it, you can go ahead and click that little video box there and it'll take you to it. Don't worry, I'll hold your spot. Well, so during that review I had mentioned that one of the things that was going to take the Mad Cats Mojo from being a pretty good Android uh, set-top box to being indispensable was going to be the PC game streaming. Now, I'm a little bit of a PC game player myself, and uh, I was really excited for this feature. But unfortunately, as you know, it hasn't quite come out yet. So I think I've come across a solution that should work for not all games, but a pretty good sampling of them. And that is by using the Chrome Remote Desktop application on your computer and on the Mojo. So the first things first, you'll need to install that through the Chrome store on your PC. It'll then prompt you to give extra permissions, which you'll say yes to, at which point you need to establish a six-digit PIN number. Um, you can do more digits if you like, but I just went for a quick one, quick six digits here. And then once that's established, you will go to your Mojo console, you'll install the free application from the Google Play Store, and then put in the six-digit PIN that you had established. Now, it took me a little bit after I got this all fired up to figure out exactly how to work everything. For example, I was using the control R in, uh, in mouse mode, and uh, when you're using it in mouse mode, you need to press the A button to take control of the mouse cursor and then move the, uh, the left joystick to move the mouse itself. Now you can see that there's uh, just a touch of lag. It could prove to be crippling in some of the very high stakes games, some of the ones that require super precision and, uh, and good timing. That could tend to be an issue. But in some of the more casual games, like for example, I got Thomas was alone running, it worked out uh, reasonably well. You know, once I got the whole process down, now I ran it with a keyboard that I had attached to my Mojo and was quite surprised that it worked just perfectly within the game itself. No problems at all there, with the exception of that very brief bit of lag. So anyway, that is a good option for how you can get PC game streaming on your Mad Cat's Mojo. It's not the best solution, and I still look forward to the PC game streaming option that Mad Cats themselves will be putting into the Mojo in the future. But if, like me, you want to explore the range of options available to you since you have a Mojo, and you don't necessarily want to wait around for anybody else to come up with the software, the software is already available for free, I might add. And if you're willing to just take a couple of minutes and explore, you can come up with a lot of fun games that you can play. I see this as being most applicable for the slower games, say some older RPGs and some casual platformers, and not necessarily for things like Call of Duty. But um, that type of stuff will come once Mad Cats has their software developed fully for the PC game streaming. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and if you have, a comment or a like would be most appreciated. You see, it's your feedback that lets me know how to best allocate my time to the things that you want to see. If you click on any of the links around here, you'll be taken to a playlist with more of that particular brand of madness. And be sure to subscribe so that you can always be the first to know when I have some new content out. Thank you very much, and I'll see you around.